everybody it is 7 a.m right now i just woke up it's friday and uh it's actually really crazy because today we are going to a place called hanyu which is super far away oh my gosh i just looked it up and like i need to show you guys on google maps so you can see how far this place is so this is where i live right now okay and i have to take this long train path for an hour and a half to hanyu station so far outside of tokyo oh my goodness it's gonna take me like an hour and a half almost like two hours to get there it's really far out in saitama um, but we're going there because we're doing indigo dye we're using indigo dye to make shibori patterns um, and indigo and shibori are two actually very quintessential Japanese textile designs, I guess you could say. Uh, and it's two designs that I really, or like two things that I really wanted to learn at Bunka. So I'm really excited about today. I have a little bit more time this morning because we have to get there at 11 o'clock, which is obviously much later than I start school. Normally I start school at like 9.20. But uh, yeah, today we just so happen to have a little bit more time this morning. And of course I have my Rusty cereal. It's so good. Oh my. All right, so I officially made it out of the house. Um, I'm running a little bit late, which is okay though. I just texted my teacher being like, don't worry, I uh, will be there. Otherwise, catch the train. Um, it's gonna be a long ride, so I'm excited. They just told us that we have to roll up the t-shirts and tie them up with elastics just like I did I'm only doing the sleeves and then we have to put them in this lovely puddle of water it's basically like to prep the shirt for dyeing so I don't think I ever actually explained this but the type of uh, indigo dyeing that I'm doing today is called kagozome and kagozome basically means dyeing with a crate so essentially the first step right after I finished washing the t-shirt um, was that I had to put it in this lovely crate. And so once I was done scrunching the t-shirt, I basically put another crate on top of it and then I tightened it up with some metal rods, some really thin metal rods. 
um, but as you can tell I didn't do a very good job so I had to ask my teacher to redo it for me <laughs> So once my teacher did that for me, I then went right into the indigo vats. These vats are two meters deep, by the way. They're very, very deep. And um, they use them to dye really long and wide pieces of fabric, which is why they're so big. Um, but yeah, so we had to wait and dye it the first time for just, I think it was about three minutes. And um, then we took it out for a couple minutes, let it oxidize, uh, let it get some air, and then put it right back in. になったらまた入れる。はい。So after I finished putting it in, I think I did three rounds of three minutes. I then took the shirt out uh, and brought it to the um, bath outside that's basically just water um, and essentially as you can see um, the t-shirt's actually green it's not blue and that's because it needs a bit more time for it to completely oxidize and aerate um, and my teacher was telling me that I needed to open it up to let the air kind of pass through it and then you can see that it actually turns blue um, which is really cool to watch in real life it's such an awesome process because it's completely natural <laughs> And then I decided that I wanted to dye this Sachiko fabric, which I had bought. And I basically wanted to do a gradient. So I, I asked the man who worked there how to do that. And I basically was told that I need to first put it into a vat with some very light colored uh, indigo, just like a very small dose of indigo in this water. <laughs> And then the second time I needed to put it in the much bigger um, indigo vat that had some, some darker dye in there. And I had to do it in little in layers. And that's how we got this really cool gradient effect. friends did some really cool stuff like this is Iko-chan she did um, some circles and some of my other friends were dyeing their bags uh, some people brought huge pieces of fabric to dye and so this is just me walking around checking out my friends designs 
And now going back to the t-shirt that I dyed, this is me unraveling all the elastics that I tied on at first, and this is how it turned out. And right before we left, our teacher explained to us a bit about these threads that were hanging outside. これをほら、こういう折物に仕掛けるためにコーンだとかチーズに巻くでしょ。この枷から。その時にあの作業がしやすい。次の人が作業しやすいようにこういう綺麗に整ってるでしょ。ほら。この糸。で、染めて、あ